James Charles faces backlash and slams fans. Manny MUA reacts to James Charles dating rumors. Plus, fans worry about Leah Marie Johnson following a disturbing live stream. Chad Tepper's new track, Loser, pretty fire. Oh, hey guys, it's Devontae for Hollywood Life with your YouTube Roundup, starting with a big happy birthday to Turner Tenney, aka Tifu, who turns 22 today. The Fortnite God had a little pre birthday stream yesterday, during which he unwrapped an unexpected gift from a friend. I'm curious how he would have reacted if he was gifted Ninja's new Adidas. And speaking of Ninja's new kicks, the adult sizes of the collab reportedly sold out in 40 minutes, which is a pretty big middle finger to anyone on social media that claimed that they would only be for kids. Moving on from gaming to beauty now, Manny MUA dropped a new video last week addressing some of the rumors spread about him, including one that he allegedly hooked up with James Charles. The next rumor is that I'm dating or hooking up with James Charles. So... I would say of all the rumors I've gotten, I would say about 20% of them asked if I was hooking up or fucking or with, in some way, shape, or form, James Charles. I'm shocked. I don't know what prompted the idea that me and James were anything more than just friends. I can assure you guys that me and James are not fucking. We are not dating. We are not together. We are not any item, any, any <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. We are not together. We are friends. We have not hooked up. We're just not each other's type. E! News reported on Manny's video and James reacted in a tweet that read, the fact that this is an actual headline is the funniest thing I've ever seen. In other Sister James news, a TikTok of his merch being found in Goodwill has gone viral. Users on social have been having a field day making fun of James because his $45 hoodie is being sold for $7. However, the new price isn't bothering him at all. James reacted to the clip and said, people have been tagging me in this as if I'm supposed to be offended. I already made my money, so joke's on you. But more importantly, why are you dragging Goodwill? Maybe it didn't fit or they just weren't a fan anymore. Hopefully someone finds it and gets a great deal. James goes on to slam the user for using music that implies thrift shopping is ghetto and continued his slamming later in the night, defending himself against, quote, straight boy punchlines. Sister James said, in part, I've had enough of edited DMs and fake dating app conversations. Some of y'all are far too ugly to get my attention and lying for clout is even uglier. Cut it out. And it didn't stop there for the beauty guru because the next day, James found himself being dragged for allegedly saying the N-word in an Instagram story. The clip in question shows James out celebrating the new year and singing along to Sweetie's My Type. Yesterday afternoon, James took to Twitter to react to his first cancellation of 2020 and said, turn up the volume and listen, I skip over it. How stupid would it have been to confidently record a video of me singing the N-word and still have it up the next morning? But okay, let's talk about Leah Marie Johnson now. She first began wearing fans back in May 2019 with a number of Instagram live streams that left her fans confused and very worried that she might have a drug problem. She continued to worry fans on December 24th with an over two hour long live stream that contains what some viewers call called disturbing behavior. Now the worry has reached a fever pitch following another Instagram live from the singer where she appears to be intoxicated, making out what many believe to be her producer. Thousands of fans watched with unease as the man in the clip questioned if Leah was on Instagram and how it would be quote bad if she was. The man ends her stream but eventually Leah starts it back up and he pleads for her to turn it back off saying, Leah, I need this not to go out because it will affect my work, please turn it off. Viewers were creeped out out by what transpired and reportedly informed police, a move that Leah slammed fans for. After dealing with authorities, Leah went live again explaining what happened and begged fans to leave her alone. We'll keep digging to find out exactly what's happening here, but in the meantime, hit that sub, like, and bell button for all the latest on your favorite celebs.